Hey guys, in this video we're going to cover how to use G-Snap as a free auto-tune plugin in Cakewalk by BandLab. G-Snap is a great free plugin to add on vocal tracks to lock the pitch to a scale, or it can even be controlled by a MIDI input. Before starting this video, we recommend checking out our tutorial series on how to use Cakewalk by BandLab as a digital audio workstation. G-Snap isn't included with Cakewalk, so let's go online and download this plugin. Once it's downloaded, place it in a folder on your computer where you want to keep your plugins. Then start up Cakewalk and create a new blank project. From the project, go to the Edit menu at the top and select Preferences. Then go down to VST Settings under File. Add a new VST scan path at the top to show Cakewalk the folder where we put the G-Snap plugin. Then press the Scan button down below to search for new plugins. From here, we can start by creating a vocal track, setting up the microphone input, and recording the vocal take. We won't actually be playing back any of this for the tutorial since I'm not a singer and I'm using copyrighted content, but we'll still go through the entire process of editing it and setting up the plugin, which you can then use on your own tracks. With the vocal track recorded, go ahead and add the G-Snap plugin. We press the plus button by the effects panel to add a new plugin. G-Snap is found under the uncategorized section at the bottom. Now we have the auto-tune applied to our track and we can start messing around with the settings to dial in the sound and amount of correction that we're looking for here. Starting at the top we have our pitch detection controls. We can set a minimum and maximum frequency that it will detect to make detection easier, especially if there's a bit of noise or something as well. The gate is basically a noise gate threshold which adjusts the minimum level that the pitch is detected at so it will only enable when there's vocals instead of noise. Speed sets how fast the auto-tune responds to changes in pitch. Too fast and it can be all over the place, but too slow and there's a delay in the pitch correction response. You can leave this as it is or adjust it to best suit your track. There are two modes that G-Snap can be used in. One is an automated pitch correction that snaps to the nearest note on the selected scale. The other is the MIDI correction, which allows us to snap to a MIDI note that's inputted to the G-Snap plugin. We'll look at that a little more later. We can also switch between these modes with Cakewalk's automation controls if we want to use MIDI for specific sections of the song. That automation mode is found under the G-Snap automation lane and it's called MIDI mode. We can move the line up to put it in MIDI mode and down to put it in scale mode. When we're in scale mode, we can select a scale at the top for the notes that G-Snap will snap to, depending on the key of our music. We can also manually click on the notes on the piano view to enable or disable them with the green circle or the X. For MIDI mode, we need to set a MIDI input. First go to the VST2 dropdown at the top of the plugin and select Enable MIDI Input. We can create a new MIDI track and add an output on that track for the G-Snap plugin, that way G-Snap is also receiving a MIDI input. Sometimes when I'm writing out the vocal melody in Cakewalk, I also like to use an instrument plugin or a synth to hear the melody from the MIDI file, just to make sure it sounds like I want it to. Our next controls are the threshold, amount, attack, and release for actually altering the note. Threshold determines how much around a specific note it will snap. So right now it's set to 100, which is one semitone snapping region around our note. Outside of that and it won't snap. When we select a scale like we did earlier, it will automatically adjust the threshold, but keep in mind what it's set to when using a MIDI input if the notes you're trying to correct are way off. The amount sets up how much pitch correction is applied, so we don't have to actually snap all the way to the note, but we can just bring it a little closer. Attack and release control how fast the correction is applied and removed. The last set of controls are the MIDI controls for the pitch bend, vibrato, and vibrato speed. All these are controlled by MIDI inputs that can come from the continuous controllers on a MIDI controller, such as the Akai MPK249 that I use for all my videos. Thanks for checking out this video on using G-Snap Auto-Tune plugin in Cakewalk by BandLab. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon to get notifications whenever a new video is released. You can also check the video description for social media links to stay up to date on all our new content.